Fear. An original story. She never realized it. Who stood there the entire time beside her. Gripping her tightly, its claws embedded deep into her mind. And yet so subtle, it took her years to see, to glean the truth. It maneuvered around her life, making her think that all this time, she was in charge. She was in charge of her own choices. So clever indeed. She always had her dreams, loved them, cherished them, imagined them coming true. And yet, every time she sat down and tried, he came. Swaying her off the road, convincing her this wasn't her. Still she couldn't see him. Still she believed it was her mind talking to her all along. So it went, day by day, week by week. She came up with an idea, tried and failed. Only that she didn't treat it as a failure. She simply thought, that isn't for me. Even when in her heart she knew, she would want that very much. The time passed and a new idea came to her. Entranced by it, she immediately set out to find a way. A way of making it happen. Researching, preparing, learning. Finally getting everything she needed. When the doubts came. The voice in her head whispered ceaselessly, Forget everything and run. How could she be doing this? Why? She had no right. Sighing, she raised from her chair, unable to look at her work. She worked on this piece for so long. It was one of her best yet. Still it pained her so much to even take a glance. Turning away, she marched out the door, the house, out, somewhere far. She needed to think. Breathing in the cold air, closing her eyes, her mind finally slowing down from the dashing speed. Why? What is holding me back? In earnest? Nothing. Otherwise? Everything? Or at least, that's how it seemed. She didn't know. Couldn't quite get a hold of it. There wasn't any obvious reason why not. Taking another deep breath, her mind finally stilled. It was an unending cycle. One she didn't know how to escape, even though she wanted to. Wanted to so much. Her dreams so close, and yet so impossibly out of reach. She should head back. Gathering herself enough to face the inevitable, she turned on her heel and began to walk back. No one dared touch her work. No one dared to venture into her room. The desk was a mess. It usually was when she was up to something. Her art piece still sat in the very midst of it. It was truly beautiful. A single tear rolled down her cheek, despair shining in her eyes. Every time she starts, with so much hope and joy in her heart, only to meet the very same end, each and every time. Cursed, to have this many dreams, but none of them brought to a successful end. She never finished anything. Something always stopped her, halfway through. The never-ending voice reminded her, forget everything and run. 
turning away from the desk. Her hand collided with a pile of books. She shouldn't have put them so close to the edge. Kneeling down to pick them up, her eyes got caught on the only one that landed open. A single word catching her attention. Fear. Her breath hitched. Forget everything and run. Eyes wide, she couldn't bring herself to look away. Fear. Her constant companion. There. She sensed him then, lurking in the depths of her mind, his talents causing her that unbearable pain. Whenever she tried to follow her dreams. Fear. Always there. Never leaving. Ever present. She felt it. The change. Someone else entered the room. And her mind. Someone else took the empty place behind her other shoulder. Face everything and rise. A whisper. Soft. Lighter. But no less fierce. For it was courage that appeared. Drowning the doubts. Even if for a moment. Face everything and rise. This time, the voice rang stronger. She rose from the ground, closing the book as she did. She has a choice. She always did. Only she'd never seen. Looking toward her desk. Resolved. She will be back tomorrow. It wasn't going to be an easy way. It never was. But there was one. Only if she had enough courage to take it and face everything and rise. The choice is yours.